If you've watched season one and thought some of those episodes were gut-wrenching and difficult to get through, season two will absolutely destroy you. Let me explain why. The story is set five years after the events of the original game. We continue the story of Joel and Ellie, but with a twist, we get introduced to Abby, a role that has officially been announced will be played by Caitlin Diva. I actually had Caitlin Diva at number one for my Ellie, but to have her as Abby, I personally think was a brilliant choice by the casting directors. Now, this character is probably the most divisive character in gaming history. Actor Laura Bailey even received death threats. With that being said, this character does something despicable that will become the most shocking moment in television of that particular year, which is 2025. For gamers, we know exactly what's coming, but for the audience who picked up the story from watching the show, you are in for a roller coaster ride, and that's just me putting it lightly. Part 2 was absolutely drenched in revenge and just pure hatred. Now, I would love to see how that translates over onto the small screen. I can already tell that just the idea of that and the premise that it's based on is gonna be too much for viewers to handle. But ultimately, there's also the realization that if you go on a path of revenge, it doesn't end very well for anyone. Revenge is a dish best served cold. The game manages to deal with this disturbing subject matter in a very profound way. That's why I think it's a masterpiece. It's not the type of premise that you find in a video game that's dealt with such care and level of detail. Normally, you would think of Kratos and how they handled that when it came to revenge. This was executed by Naughty Dog on a level and scale that nobody has ever seen. And I mean, the first game is absolute perfection. So how do you improve on perfection? You just take your audience deeper down the rabbit hole. Now, adapting this video game will be a monumental task. Season one was straightforward. Part two will be very complex and I would love to see how they execute this. Now, Neil Druckmann and Craig Mazin proved already with the high level and quality they delivered with season one, which ended up being my favorite TV show of 2023. I mean, everybody loves Succession. I understand that. But, I mean, adapting something that people said you shouldn't even touch. It's untouchable. You don't even go there. Adapting it in such a way that it pays homage to the original video game and it adds new elements that makes it feel authentic. In addition to casting D.Va, they also announced that Young Mazzino is gonna play Jesse. Now, Young Mazzino was in Beef. Everybody knows Beef. It was on Netflix. It was incredible. It was a limited series, and he played Steven Yoon's little brother in that show, and there was something about his portrayal of that character that lets me know that he'll absolutely nail this part. And you have Isabella Merced as Dina. Now, this was an important role to cast. There was a glimpse of Dina in season one. I don't know if you guys caught that. It was a little Easter egg in there. But eventually I knew Drockman and Craig, they were gonna have to cast an actress that can actually carry the weight of this role because this is such an integral role to part two because most of the scenes is gonna be an interaction between her and Ellie and especially the trio. Jesse included. So the casting of these two characters was very integral to Ellie's part of the story. Now, also the biggest difference between the original game and part two is the length. 
I'm definitely predicting that they're gonna split this up into two seasons. There's no way that you can adapt part two and cram all that story into one season. I'm thinking maybe the second season will be eight episodes and then they finish it off with the third season. But on that note, a third game hasn't been confirmed yet. Now, as a fan, I would absolutely love if they do part three and do the TV show at the same time and release it like as a companion piece. I don't know if it's ever been done on that scale or on that level, but wow, that that will be internet breaking if they can achieve something like that. Now that's down to Naughty Dog and HBO if ever they would come to such an agreement. But I definitely think something like that might be in the works. I just have a feeling that they might do that. Now with part two, there's a lot of story to cover. I mean, you have two main characters that go on journeys in their own different ways, different experiences and somehow they meet along the way and the story you know intertwines which is very complex storytelling so i would love to see how they are going to tackle this and bring this to life now i'm thinking maybe if season two focuses primarily on abby you know have abby be the spearhead and the central character of season two and you know sometimes split up the screen time with ellie but then in season three you put the emphasis back on ellie that would be that would be really interesting i feel like who i'm getting excited just thinking about how they're gonna adapt this guys but that's just me you know trying to figure out how they're gonna tackle this thing speculation and as always i might be wrong but as a fan i would love to see that and of course that's just the human side of the story don't forget this is a post-apocalyptic world where infected roam freely there's one scene i'm eagerly anticipating something that happens in the video game i don't want to spoil this for you guys but if you have played a game i'm going to give you a hint at what I'm talking about. This is when you enter a basement in an abandoned hospital. Now imagine the amount of infected in a hospital during the whole breakout of the infection. You can only imagine what happens in a hospital environment and there is a king lurking. That's all I'm gonna say. This is already my most anticipated TV show of 2025 by a mile this is the one guys this is the one for me I mean The Last of Us is a IP that is so beloved and you know fans are so passionate about this project and if it wasn't for Succession now listen guys Succession is on another level and if it wasn't for that show this would have been number one at all the award shows pedro pascal bella ramsey would have been eating emmys golden globes up for award season i personally haven't returned yet to play part two again because i feel like it's a tough game it's really a tough game to get through as technically amazing as the game is and as it's a masterpiece of video gaming it's not an easy video game it's the type of it features the type of subject matter that would stay long with you it will linger in your mind the themes that it deals with especially the revenge and retribution you know so it's difficult difficult that's why it's a game where you will actually have to prepare yourself you know when you're gonna go in and play that game so just by me saying that I'm 100% sure that season two will be groundbreaking in every single way. Not easy for viewers to watch, but it will definitely be a different type of animal than what people have seen in season one. And that 
makes me very excited to see season two and that's it for me guys please let me know what you guys think about this what is, what are your thoughts and what are your views on this particular subject matter uh, how do you think neil Druckmann and craig mason how are they going to break down season two and possibly season three as well i'm i'm curious guys i need more information coming through on this so the fact that we've been getting casting news has me excited that means the show is ready to go into production and please let me know what you guys think don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button guys i'll keep the content coming and this is an interesting one guys i will definitely catch you on the next one